Did you know there are three ways to remove columns in Power Query? Today I will explain to you how and when to use them. So let's assume you have this table right here and you want to delete a couple of columns. The quickest and easiest way to do it is to select the column itself and either right click on the header and choose remove or go to the home tab remove columns and then select remove columns. This is the quickest and easiest way to remove columns when you have one or two columns that you need removing. But this is only efficient when you need to remove one or two columns. What if you only want to keep two columns? Of course, you can go and select all your columns, hold shift or control, select all of them, right click, remove. You see where I'm going. Another quicker way to do it would be to select the columns you want to keep, like employee ID and employee name, and then you can either go on the home tab and select remove other columns, or you can right click on the header of one of them and select remove other columns. See, it's a lot quicker. But this doesn't fit all the situations. This only works when you have a handful of columns that you want to keep. How about if you want to remove columns that are not one next to another, like say department and then position, and then you might have job title and status and so on. The quickest way to do it is to go to choose columns on the home tab, select choose columns, and then just deselect all the columns that you want to delete. Let's say this should be enough. Press OK and bada bim bada boom, they're gone. But Power Query is not all about removing columns. And to help you with that, I've put together a video with the tools that I used in almost all my projects. The link is in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, consider smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. This is Telian, signing off. Until next time, cheerio!